A Sacramento viewer says she went in for an endoscopy. When she was charged for a colonoscopy, she called Curtis to investigate. Yeah, guys, we'll both involve cameras checking out your insides, but she says her bill was for a camera going in the wrong end. Felicity Kello is certain the doctor put the camera down her throat, an endoscopy. So the bill was a surprise. When I got the bill, it was for a colonoscopy, and I called them and I was like, excuse me, I don't know who I need to talk to, but you guys like billed me for literally the wrong end. Yes, the bill claiming that camera went in her rear, which she insists it did not. You went this end and not, and I need somebody to fix that because I, I know what these procedures are and that is not what I had. If she didn't point it out, the colonoscopy was actually $106 cheaper out of pocket, but she pushed Dignity Health to fix the mistake and says they did. But then another billing mistake. She says Dignity sent her to collections for a trip to the cardiologist. She had proof she already paid the $569 bill. The girl was like, oh, well, I'm calling about your overdue bill and I was not very nice. Some studies suggest medical billing mistakes happen 75 to 80 percent of the time. The American Medical Association, which represents doctors, puts that number at a much lower 7 percent. I would love this to just be done. <laughs> because somehow Felicity has had to battle two frustrating billing mistakes. We reached out to Dignity Health, which said upon review, we identified a system issue as well as a training opportunity for our customer service representatives. They fixed the double billing, but never referenced billing for the colonoscopy instead of an endoscopy. Where the ball dropped, I don't know, but if I didn't pay attention to my records, I would have had no idea. <laughs> Well, the Kaiser Family Foundation, which is not tied to Kaiser Permanente, calls medical billing mistakes a big problem, blaming coding errors, high staff turnover, and delayed bills. Now, they suggest don't pay a bill until you receive an explanation of benefits because that's where you're going to spot these problems. And if you can't get results getting it fixed, they suggest filing a complaint with the Attorney General's office. Have something for me to investigate? Go to CBS13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.